they proposed the idea to me. I, I thought about it for a second, you know, for like a week or two, and I listened to some music. They wanted to really focus on New Wave uh, from the early 80s and kind of redoing a bunch of those like more obscure versions of those songs. And, you know, it was an interesting idea, you know, as a music lover, I was like, huh, okay. And I, you know, I thought about it and I went back to them and I said, you know, not, not a lot of this music is really resonating with me, actually. It's not really where my heart is. And, you know, if we had to do a cover album, I would feel more comfortable doing either a 70s or a 90s one, first of all. Uh, but they weren't into that either. And, and it just didn't seem, I, I, I wanted to make an original album. You know, I did covers on Idol. Uh, essentially singing for Queen is sort of like, you know, I'm covering songs with the original members, but I'm covering the songs. For me as an artist, it's important to make statements within my own new music. And, and that's part of the identity I want to create. And it just wasn't an option there. So I was like, I'm gonna go. <laughs> it felt like it was so many steps backwards to me. At a certain point in your career, it's a cool project, but I, I you know, not, it wasn't the right timing for me to do something like that.